A few weeks ago, I was having a conversation with a dear friend. The conversation was a pleasant one for the most part, until we reached a topic that we disagreed on. It turned into what I thought was a light-hearted debate, and when it ended, I thought nothing of it. I later found out that the conversation for my friend was not okay. And to my friend, I had shown serious character flaws by my behavior. I was shocked, hurt, and then eventually angry. And I needed several days to calm down before responding. My hurt and my anger stemmed from a feeling of being mistreated and purposely misunderstood. There was no attempt on the part of my friend to clarify, to understand, or to trust that I was good-natured towards them and give me the benefit of the doubt. This video is not about my conversation. This video is about a new social norm that I am seeing amongst my friends that I am becoming more and more afraid of. I value perspectives. And as a result, I reach for opinions and viewpoints that are different from my own, that are different from my main social groups. Having a wide variety of friends, one of the aspects of my life that I am truly grateful for. But in the last few years, and more quickly in the last few months, I have watched a new type of segregation based upon what people's ideas are, and the subsequent disgust grow in communities for those who don't think like they do. I have watched over the past few months many people who I know are kind and understanding, who are my friends, say vicious and hurtful things to others. It is now so rare to see someone lean in with curiosity and understanding. I've also heard the silence of those who are afraid to say anything, for they live in fear that they may be attacked for saying an opinion that may not be the right one. We have created a world where there are those who continually seek out those who are transgressing against what is right and those who are afraid to say anything in a continuous state of walking on eggshells. There is an ever-present sense of doom and gloom. This feels wrong. This feels hostile. This feels toxic. The election is today, and regardless of the results, I think it may be prudent that we begin trying to mend the wounds in our culture, in our community, before we forget how to truly get along, before those wounds become too deep. I think a desire to understand others and allowing people to think the way they do is the first step in healing the toxicity in our culture. And perhaps, maybe, the best pathway forward. Anyway, just one man's thoughts. Thank you for listening. See you next time.